All right, so let's talk routing here. So this is gonna be kind of vitally important to almost any application you might be building. And in React, uh, maybe the most famous way we do uh, routing is with a, a package called React Router here. So this is the documentation here. And in React, it's kind of interesting because we're not actually routing per se. Um, React Router kind of fakes it. And what we're really doing is just kind of switching out components. All right, so let's come over here and we're going to copy over this React Router DOM here. And there's another package for um, native and stuff. So you want, want to make sure you're getting the React Router DOM. So then we're gonna come back over here and we are just gonna open up a new window and make sure we're CD'd into our web folder. So CD into that and we're just gonna go yarn add and paste that in and let it run. All right, so once that's all done and installed, we are gonna move over to our, um, our app.tsx over here. So come over here and let's just minimize this so we can get a little more room here. And this is what we have had up until this point. And now we're gonna add some routing. This is where we're gonna do all of our routing in this file, as well as our um, authentication and whatnot. So how are we gonna do this? Well, first let's go ahead and we gotta bring in a few things here. So let's come up to the top and we're gonna go import and we're gonna open up some braces here. And we're gonna have a few things. So we're gonna have browser router. We are going to have, oh, we'll call that uh, we're going to alias that, so as router. Um, and then the next thing we need is route. And the last thing we want to do is switch. And all of those are going to come from what? Uh, React uh, router uh, DOM here. Let's come down. And this is where we're just going to get rid of everything right now, I guess. So we can do that. Let's come down here and just delete all that and then come up here. And in here, we're first gonna add a router here. And then this is where we're gonna do everything inside of here. So this has to wrap our entire uh, router components here. And then we're gonna come in here and we're gonna go switch. Yeah, so come in here and go route. And our first route, we're gonna go path, and that's gonna be where it's directed to. Um, and we're just gonna go slash. So this is gonna be our home route here. And we can close that off. And then inside here is where we're gonna add our component. So remember before in our components, we created this users.tsx. So why don't we just use that for now? Uh, so we're gonna bring that in. And then that's all we need to do for that. So if we go ahead and save this, now, our initial route uh, that we load to, it's gonna show the user. So let's come back over and I have my app running here and we got some sort of error here. All right, so if we look in here, we can see that we don't have the types and that's giving us a bit of a TypeScript error here. So we can come back in here again and we can go yarn add and we just want to pass in that at types react router dom all right so that seemed to work that took care of our type error and often that's just what you have to do if a package uh, isn't typed already um, so that is fine let's go ahead and control uh, get rid of that all right so now if we come over here we'll see we're getting this working fine again so this is again just our home route our slash route so that is great. So now we wanna come back over here and we wanna add uh, another kind of route. So let's first come over and create a new component here and we're just gonna call this, we'll go landing.tsx uh, and this will be kind of a landing page route that we're gonna do. So let's come up to the top and we can go uh, RFC and that's gonna create a React functional component. Um, and we can go like this. And then inside here, let's just do an H1 and then we'll just say landing. And that should be all we need for that. Okay, and then we wanna come back over here and this is where we're gonna add in our landing route. Now, let's come down below here just to start with and show you how this is gonna work. So let's go route 
and then we're gonna go that's gonna have a path and that's gonna be equal to uh, we'll go slash landing okay and then we'll close this off here and come down in here now we're gonna uh, add our landing uh, component which we should auto uh, bring in here there we go auto import that and now we have a landing route now I want to show you guys something here so we're gonna come over back over uh, to here and we're gonna go slash landing now this should take us to our landing but it doesn't it keeps us to the same thing so why is that doing that well let me tell you so it's doing that because this is hitting the first uh, route that we're going so it's hitting slash and it's navigating to that and that's this switch statement here so in order to navigate that we can either go like this and add this route last and if we save that and come back over and now we're getting our landing at uh, slash landing so that's one way to do it so another way that we can do that is we can add the uh, kind of keyword here exact and then we can bring this below here and then that should also uh, fix our issue for us because it's only going to go to that one exact route so again even though it's below it's all still going to the slash landing okay so that's kind of the two ways you can do that um, I think we're just for now we might have to switch it back and we'll probably add some exact routes later but for now let's just bring this back to where it was and go ahead and save that all right so that's kind of an intro to routing um, as we go along and create components we're gonna have different routes and we'll be adding them to uh, to this component here but uh, I think that's a good intro um, the next one we're gonna maybe add our authentication to our front end um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. All right, thanks for watching.